Hi, it's Andy again, and uh, I got another Facebook tutorial. Um, this is going to be a very simple tutorial. Uh, we're just going to grab uh, some information from the Facebook app and display it uh, in a text view. So uh, what I'm going to do is just display our name. Um, but I'm going to walk you through the whole process of starting an app and getting your um, SHA codes from your, um, or SHA key from your uh, developer key or actually the generic key that they give you because uh, we're gonna be running this in an emulator um, so this won't be for your key it'll be the generic Android one for all everybody but um, the key is dependent on your machine so you're gonna have to run this yourself and uh, I'll walk you through the steps um, on how to get started so we've uh, in my last tutorial I, sh I, I created a I showed you how to import the, the library into uh, your app um, with just having a Facebook login. I, I've deleted all of that out. Of, you know, There's nothing in here now except in the main activity we have a text view. And uh, we're going to use that text view to display um, my name. Like We're going to put like hello and then my name. Uh, you do need the Facebook app on your emulator and you need to log in. Um, that's going to be where we're going to be getting the information from. So first step first, if you haven't watched the last tutorial, watch it because you're going to need to do that. You need to install your uh, the Facebook app and then head back on over to uh, developer.facebook.com and uh, we're going to create a new activity. So our new project. So go into apps, create new app. Um, this one's going to be, we'll just call this face test um, I'll just copy that we'll just make that uh, the namespace as well category um, doesn't really matter we'll just say entertainment or something like that okay we create our app uh, uh, about test and I'll put this like uh, ruffles test there we go I don't remember having to do this this sucks I hate these I can never read them try another one because I can't read that It's not letting me try another one. So we'll do B R and X P K H. Try that. No. Okay. So this is a little bit better. S Y B G S L N. Hey, there we go. Okay, so you get this app ID, which you're gonna need to copy this and put it in your Android manifest file so we'll open up our project again or we'll, we'll store it as a string for now so we'll do string ah, name equals app ID and we'll paste that and it's important because each individual app is going to have its own ID and uh, that's going to be how Facebook is kind of doing its um, two-step authentication to determine that you're a developer, you're an authorized developer because we also have to get our key that we're going to use to sign our, our test sign the app and uh, we have to upload that key to Facebook so uh, they're going to make sure that your their app is authentic and you're the developer and you have the right ID number and all this other stuff so that you're not deco decompiling someone else's app and re reposting it and stuff. So let's go back to here. We're gonna need, um, I think that's all the information we need right now from our dashboard. Uh, what we're gonna do is actually go through the, the walkthrough app and uh, set some other information up. 
So getting started. So we've installed all the prerequisites for now. What you do need to know is this key store. Uh, you need to get the key for your key store and uh, upload that. So we're going to go to copy. Um, I need to go into terminal. So we'll go into terminal and paste. I should get a, a password prompt. Yes. Okay, so the password is Android for the default one. If you have your own key store and you are going to be publishing the app, you're going to have your own login and password and everything. But this is the default one, the one that you use to send your apps to the emulator. Okay, so you need to copy this code right here. There we go, without the space. Copy. Go back into your developer settings. Uh, oh, sorry, let's go into our test app. And we need to go into our settings here. Um, platform Android there we go here's our key hash that we need to paste it to all right so we need to get our package name um, if you don't know it you can get it from your Android manifest file uh, this is what I named it hopefully they don't give me any crap over this but let's see package paste and then you need the, the activity that you're going to be launching so uh, it's main activity so we need to paste it again the main activity and uh, save all right now we're good to go so now we can get started with the sample app so let's go back into the docs go into Android getting started and all we're going to do is, um, you know, get that text view and display some our, our name now. So we're going to go once we have that set up. Da, 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 da. Okay, creating a new prompt. Oh, this is. And this is basically going over what I just told you how to do in like a couple seconds <laughs> so and they use Eclipse for everything so there we go and I'll, I'm just gonna copy the final main activity and um, which is this and I'll go over it it's actually very simple um, it's not rocket science so let's go here we'll copy this since that's all we need to do Go back to our main activity so we don't mess this up. And paste. Now we have to import all this stuff. So just hit Alt Enter, import class, import class. Now I, I named this hello, so we'll just change this to hello. Import our intents, and we're good to go. Um, another thing is we have to specify in the Android manifest the, a login activity for Facebook. So um, I'm going to get that. Um, I think I just got that key from one of the sample apps, and I just changed it. Oh, here we go. We need to use print admission to get the inter internet, so we'll copy this. Go into um, right in here. 
paste uses permission android name android dot permission internet now if you're just using this on an emulator you actually don't need to ask for permission to use the internet but on any android device you need to enable this before you you can use the internet for obviously for obvious reasons um, you're using a data plan you need to ask permission to use that person's data plan what the hell happened there get rid of that alrighty so then we need to let's go back oh we need to get the other the log the f code for the um, Facebook activity yeah so just copy this go back into our project go under activity we're pasting another activity we also need to get the uh, metadata that we're going to be sending to Facebook so, uh, servers and that's um, right here and this basically is just sending our um, our application ID to Facebook so that they can verify that this is a um, an approved app so we'll just put that and uh, as you can see I, I this is just grabbing that straight so let me go over the the main activity which is all we're going to be doing real quick is um, we're going to call a session so um, if there's no active session it's just gonna it's gonna prompt us to log in uh, and it's gonna use your default login for your Facebook app so for me it'll um, I just signed into the Facebook app, app a little bit ago and uh, it'll use that login so um, then we need to have a callback which we need to uh, once you hit OK you have to set up the you know session get the session state catch any exceptions you need so that's all this is. so we have our session we need to find out what the state is of that session because we're going to be testing to make sure that everything is complete and then if there's an error we need to catch whatever the error is so that it doesn't crash so um, uh, this is a request this is how you're going to be getting the data from the Facebook servers uh, we're going to be getting async data. This is deprecated. This is just for the sample app. They use uh, very different uh, techniques to get data um, if you download their sample apps and go through that. So we need to get the, the status of um, the session. So we're going to override on complete, uncompleted. Sorry. This means that once we are connected to Facebook in a session, that's when this uh, method is going to be called. So then we need to get a graph user. Uh, graph user is just basically your the user. So um, your login for the for the device, the user's login for the device, and uh, get the response. So um, if the user isn't null, so the person's logged into Facebook on their uh, Facebook app, then we can we're going to find this text view and then update the text. And then uh, this. Oh, on activity result this is the actual clicking of OK to sign into into Facebook so uh, when you click on OK you start this session to uh, to get an active session and then uh, get the data from whatever the results are from your action pick so uh, let's run this and see what it looks like might take a little bit since I haven't built this yet alright so we want to run it on the emulator and so this is me logged in so we don't have permission yet so that's why the text view is empty right now it'll be right up here we need to give uh, our app access to use our Facebook account so we'll click OK and it's going to log in and then boom it updates the text to uh, your login information it's very simple this is probably going to be way too easy for uh, anything you're going to be developing but uh, this is a good overview on finding out how the, the SDK 
starts a, a call back to the, the Facebook servers to get information. And it also, it's a good prep to get you started on developing an app. So um, yeah, this, this app only corresponds to that one um, app in, in your app. So that, since we have this app ID, that's what it's going to and, and no other app. So I um, hope you like this tutorial and how to get started because if you just go through it the first time, you might be lost. Um, you, if you need to learn how to um, set up your uh, ADB and all that other stuff, uh, so well actually this doesn't use ADB, so you should be able to just copy and paste this into the terminal on uh, Android Studio. This is a feature I really like about Android Studio and that's why I've pretty much switched to it as my one and only um, IDE from Eclipse. It's, it's got a lot of tools just built in. so. Uh, Hope you like this. Uh, expect a lot more videos to come um, for the Facebook SDK because I have to learn it for one of my projects. Then I'm going to pass on the information to you. Uh, so have a good night.